Hey everyone, okay, so I'm going to be doing a video for you guys today. It's, it's kind of like um, a collective haul, haul-ish, whatever you want to call it, plus including my Ipsy glam bag for January. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and get started and excuse the clothes and my hair being up. I'm just going to be working out and go to the gym in a little while, so I'm in my gym clothes. But um, anyway, so a few weeks ago I went to Ulta and a few other places and I bought a few things. Um, first I'm going to start with something that I didn't purchase this, but I just wanted to include this um, because I'm really excited about it and really excited to try it. And that is, hopefully my camera doesn't die. I don't know. Um, this Bare Minerals Little Luxuries uh, Dazzling Eye Trio Kit that I got for Christmas from my mom. And I opened this up and I swatched it and the color is so beautiful and I cannot wait to use this. I will probably do um, an eye tutorial on it once I like kind of play around with it and figure out some really nice looks for it. But it just comes with the uh, Flawless Definition Mascara, which I haven't opened yet because I'm trying to finish up some of my other mascaras. But it comes with the mascara and then two of the little um, eye colors and they are in Cultured Pearl and Muse. So I'm really, really super excited about trying this out. Um, next is something that I just picked up from Walmart and I'm not sure um, if this is going to work for my skin or not because I used it, I've used it twice now. And I'm not sure if this is breaking me out or not. Um, I'm not sure if it's, it's either this or makeup remover wipes. I switched to a different brand of makeup remover wipes and about the same time. And I'm not sure which one's breaking me out. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, but it is the Garnier Nutrice uh, Moisture Renew Refreshing Gel Cream. And this one is oil free. And it's just supposed to be, you know, your typical gel moisturizer. Um, so I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but... Um, I'm going to test around and see how I like it. Next is stuff from Ulta. And I was so excited. Um, a few weeks back, I bought one of the new um, Maybelline... What are they? Maybelline something or another. It's supposed to be like the little dupes for the YSL lip gloss things. And it's like a lip gloss stain. I don't know what it's called, but um, I'll link it down below if I find out what it's called or right here. Um, anyways, I purchased one of those, and it was like $9.99, and I purchased one in like a rosish color. Came home, and I hated it. It just did not work good for me. I don't know if it's just the color I picked or what, but it didn't, it didn't do anything for me. It just left my lips looking glittery, and like, I don't know. It was just, there was no color to it. So I took that back, and I took that back and exchanged it for this stuff. I went in on a day that they were like clearancing out ton of physicians formula stuff so I grabbed quite a few of those and I still have the receipt so I'm gonna let you guys know how much I paid for these which I was just extremely excited but um the first thing I picked up was this bright collection shimmery quad eyeshadow and I've seen this before on some videos and it just looks really nice and um I just I can't wait to try this out Let's see if I can open this for you guys so you can actually see the colors. I haven't used any of this stuff yet, so... Um, but this is what the colors look like. And they're just really nice nude colors. You've got like a lightish brown, taupey color, a medium color, a darker one, and then a lighter one. And I cannot wait to try these out. Um, and this one I paid... How much was this one? This one was $1.69. So $1.69 for this. Um, the next thing I got was this Happy Booster, Physician's Formula Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Lipstick. And I picked up the color I Love Nude, and it's just, like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it's like this corally pinky color, and it just looks really pretty. And this one I got for $2.29, so, I mean, you can't be that. These things are, like, originally $10 to $14 on their own. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And then next I got... Um, an eyeshadow thing that I used to use when I was in high school and I absolutely loved this little palette thing so I'm really really excited to try it again but this one was how much did I pay for this this one was $3.79 and it's their baked collection wet to dry eyeshadow and I got the color baked sands and I just remember in high school loving these they were super pigmented and they just looked really nice on my eyes and you can use them wet or dry if you use them wet it will intensify the look so yeah I'm excited to try this one out um, the next thing I got was 
$3.29 is what I paid for this. And this is the PH Matchmaker um, Powder Blush in Rose. And I had wanted to try this when this first when this collection first came out, and I never did because they're a little bit pricey. And I don't know, I just find that sometimes buying blushes that are drugstore, I, they don't usually have a whole lot of pigment. Some of them, not all of them, but some of them. So I didn't want to pay the price for this, but for $3, I was like, heck yes, I'll try it. And I did take this out. Let's see if I can get it out again. Um, I haven't actually used it on my skin because I want to do this video first. But I did open it and swatch it and oh my gosh, it's so pigmented. It's so pretty. So there's the color. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Like, I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys just so you can see how pigmented this is. It's right there. It is so beautiful. It's just this gorgeous fuchsia pinky color with a very slight amount of glitter. But I think it's only on the top layer. So if you're not a glitter fan, um, like I said, I think it's only on the top layer. But it is just so beautiful, and for $3, I love it. Um, the last thing that I bought from there, and it was so amazing because um, I took that one lipstick back, and I got all this stuff, and I think I only paid like a couple dollars extra, which is amazing. Um, and this one was the only thing that I am not pleased with, and I wish I would have returned it, but it's been, I think it's just been too long. But this was not worth the money, and I only paid like two or three dollars for this one, yeah. And these I saw at Tar or at Walmart after I had bought this for like eleven dollars. And I was like, wow, I got mine for like two or three, I can't wait to try it. This is a no-go, like, it looks beautiful in the packaging too. It's the L'Oreal Paris... The One Sweep Sculpting Blush Duo. And it has a blush and a bronzer. There's like a Comcast guy outside. And he's totally going to be like see me and be like, what is she doing talking to herself? But this is what it looks like. It looks gorgeous in the pan. Like, I love it. It's a nice light bronzer with a really pretty pinky blushy color. And it just like... I mean, it's right there. You just really don't get too much pigment from it. I don't know, maybe if I try it on my skin it will be better, but when I put it on my hand, like it just blends out to nothing, like there's just nothing there. So I'm really bummed about that, but um, I'm going to try it on my face before I completely say that I hate it, and maybe I'll do an update on it, but I was really kind of bummed about this, I was hoping it would be a little bit more pigmented, but we'll see. Um, last thing that I got from makeup stuff, and then I'll move on to my Ipsy bag is I picked up one of these, um, I don't even know what they're called, the Maybelline New Vivids um, Color Sensational Lipsticks, and the color that I originally wanted, they didn't have. I can't even remember the name of it, but it was one of the lighter shades. They didn't have it, they were sold out everywhere, and I cannot find it. So I went ahead and picked this one up, and it is in 870 Shocking Coral, and this is just the most pretty corally color. It's like a corally pink color. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'll do a little swatch for you guys. And this color is just, it's just so pretty and I cannot wait to wear this for summertime. Um, one downfall is the smell. I hate the smell of Maybelline, L'Oreal, and Rimmel lipsticks. I don't know why, but to me they smell like Play-Doh. I hate the smell of them, but the color was so gorgeous that I was like, you know, I can suck up the smell for this one time. But I love that. Cannot wait to wear it for summer. I'm going to get so much use out of it. So that was all that I purchased. And um, this was my Ipsy bag for this month. If you haven't seen other girls do it, I just thought I'd throw it in. I haven't really been doing my actual Ipsy bag video. So I'm just going to throw this in here. Um, this month we got this cute little card. And it says, a true star will always shine. I really like the pattern on it. It's really cute. And it just tells you all the stuff that you get in the bag. And the first thing that we got out was the eyeliner brush from the Soho New York London collection. And we got one of these brushes, this one, in one of the previous bags. And I absolutely love this brush. So I was really, oh, I got hair. I was really excited to get this one. And this one is a, I'm trying to make sure my battery is not going to die. It's this nice, like, eyeliner brush. But it's really, really interesting looking. I did kind of already use it, but I put it back in its packaging for the sake of this video. Um, it's really interesting. It's like really wide. So at first I was like, you know, this isn't going to work. But I did use it on my lower lash line, and I really did like the way it smudged out my um, eyeliner and added some black underneath it. So, yeah, I really do like this, and I do like the Soho brand. You can purchase them at Walmart if you'd like to try them. Um, so yeah, that was that, and then this month's bag was like this, and I know a lot of girls have actually 
been talking about the bags, how they didn't like it, but I actually kind of like it this month. Like, I don't know, I like the awkward longness of it, and I like how it will, like, it's got the flat bottom. And the inside is so cute. It's got the little stars on it, and it just says Ipsy. I don't know, I, I love this bag. I think it's adorable. But anyways, inside we got the Big Sexy Hairspray, and it just looks like this. And I have never used Big Sexy anything. I've wanted to, and I've just never tried it. So I'm really excited to try this. It's the Spray and Play Volumizing Hairspray. So that's what that looks like. And it's like actually a pretty big size, too. The next thing was the Josie Marin um, Argan Oil. And I'm like really interested to try this out, too. I know a lot of girls were saying that they put it on their face and it broke them out. So I'm thinking I'm going to steer clear of that, even though it says on the back that it's good for acne. I'm just afraid it will break me out because everything breaks me out, so I'm thinking I'm just going to use it in my hair, and it just comes with a nice little dripper, or the dropper thing, so I was excited to get that. Next, we got another um, Nail Teeny, the nail polish. One month, we got a glittery one. This month, I got this one in Frappe. It looks like this. It's just a really pretty, nice nude color. And I'm actually going to paint my nails this today. Maybe I'll post it on Instagram, let you guys know what I think about it. Um, it looks like it's going to be really sheer, so I'm not sure if it's going to take a lot of coats. I'm hoping not because I really don't like polishes that you have to layer and layer and layer. Because I feel like they never dry, and then I always like smudge them and mess them up. But we'll see about this one. I love the color, so hopefully it works really well for me. And lastly was this uh, hand lotion, and it was by Pacifica. It's the Tuscan Blood Orange Body Butter, and oh my goodness gracious, does this stuff smell amazing. If you love citrus and orange, you are going to love this. Like, it is so amazingly smelly good, and it just makes your hands feel so soft, so moisturized. I did use a little bit of this, and I loved it. Um, this product that is it is 100% vegan, no animal ingredients. Um, they do not test on animals. They're free of parabens, uh, mineral oil, peanut oil, and artificial color. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, um, if you don't like citrusy scents or orange or anything like that, I would say you probably won't like this because it is very strong. But for me personally, I love it. And it's just the perfect little size to stick in your purse or your handbag or whatever. Um, your backpack if you're in school and just take it with you. So this will come in handy this summer um, and I'm just really looking forward to it. So yes, um, I feel like I kind of flew through this video and talked really fast but like I said, my battery is dying and that is the reason why I have not been posting videos. My camera is the Canon, what is this thing? It's the Canon PowerShot 5X130 yada 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 and it takes um, like batteries it doesn't have like a charger thing so I have to put double A's in it and for some reason I can't just use normal batteries I have to use like the actual rechargeable ones and for some reason my rechargeable ones have decided to bite the dust and they refuse to hold a charge anymore so I've got to buy new charging batteries so that's why I've been so MIA but I will be picking some of those up soon so I can start filming again and I think that's about it so yeah, I hope you guys are all having a great day. If you have any questions or comments, uh, video requests, anything like that, leave it down in the comments below. Be sure to check over here on my channel page and um, subscribe to me on this channel, of course. And as well as follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm always on there posting things and tweeting and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!